started blocking. She blocked. Yeah, I had to. I mean, in my job. <laughs> what you see from both Derek and TJ? Uh, them balls look good out there um, this week. Both of them running with speed, power, and explosiveness. Is it any different blocking for those two guys? Yeah, like I said earlier, you got to get out there and wait. <laughs> Run right up your back. <laughs> Did you like, or how did you feel about your kind of new role in the offense or what you were doing differently? I mean, I, I feel pretty good on um, doing it because I have been doing it the whole camp, so it came normal to me. You were able to catch the one pass. What did you see on that, on that route? Nah, I really, I didn't really see the ball. I didn't know who, who um, Blake was throwing it to. I just <laughs> reached my hand. I came into my hand. You didn't score a touchdown, though. You're used to scoring touchdowns. I mean, it's, it's all right. I mean, they'll come with time. Talk about Blake's performance. Man, Blake did great. He kept his control, his poise out there, and just balled out. He seemed pretty even keeled with us. Was he a little bit more emotional with you guys? Nah, he just he kept his poise pretty much during the whole game. He was just calm and collected. How about the locker room? He, just, just being itself, just sitting there, just talking to other people, just trying to get them calmed down and stay focused on the game. Yeah. We knew that you could hit. We knew that you could block. What about Amari? Did you know he kind of kind of had a block like that in him? Oh yeah, Coop do that all the time at practice. He, he always finished. That's one thing about him. Always finish. You keep your head around on him. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> Justin, what did you think of? I know running backs and tight ends were helping Cam on the left side a lot. What did you see from him? You, you were the A-track on that side a couple of times. Cam held his, he his ground. I mean, he talked to me, and we communicated, so that probably helped him out a lot doing that. What's your assessment of having Coach Kippen on the sideline? I mean, it's a good thing because he can tell you what he sees, and you just this to him, you'll be able to um, follow up, and he will help you out with him being there. On TJ's first touchdown run, you guys really blew up that right side. What did you see on that play? I just seen a man out there. I tried to go and get him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something, but you got an extra shoulder pad on your shoulder. What's going yeah, on with that? Just, just, I'm just constantly using it all the time and just trying to protect it. That's all. Okay. I mean, we're really not missing too much because we got a guy that always come in and replace. I mean, when he comes back, we're going we're gonna to welcome him back and just let him go out there and ball like he always do. How do y'all how do y'all treat all the outside talk about the quarterback? Some people want Coker even though they've never seen him. Some people want Sim. Is that, could that be a distraction? Because I imagine you get asked about it on campus. I mean, it's not a distraction to me. I just... This is to him talking, just walk away and just laugh. <laughs> and we can win with either one of the guys, so that's, that's how I feel about it. How was Jacob after the game after not getting to play as much? He was all right. I mean, he didn't complain. He just kept a straight face and kept moving. Is that probably one of the better offensive line performances you've seen in opening games? Or the best yeah, that's pretty, much, pretty much. I mean, the last few games that we opened up, the first game, we didn't do too, too good on the offense. But this game, we look pretty good. Do you sort of see them wearing down at any point? Nah, I don't see them wearing down. This is what we do here. No, I'm talking about the defense. Oh, oh yeah, they did. They got tired at the end. They had the end. As a, as a blocker, what, what does it add to your responsibilities or anything when you have a guy under center who can extend the play and even, like, break off on a run? To my Blake? Yeah, I mean, do you have to, like, Stay engaged longer, or do you have to keep your eyes up field in case he takes off or something? Yeah, you got basically got to keep your um, eyes up field because you never know when Blake can just take off and run. So you got to be seeing what he see, and if he don't see anything downfield, you got to be willing to run with him and block for him. We've seen Amari how fast he is, and Derek some of the running back skill position players. How, where does Blake relate in his speed to those guys? Oh, Blake pretty fast. Yeah, um, he can get out there when he, once he got get out there in space. He can make a couple t moves too. So. He's a smooth dude. <laughs> <laughs> Any more?